Lesson 9. Never leave until tomorrow what you can do today. Benjamin Franklin was both a writer and an inventor. Listen carefully to find out two things. At least one thing that Benjamin Franklin wrote, and at least one thing that he invented. Like George Washington, Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of our country. He was never a president, but he was a very wise man with wonderful ideas. Benjamin Franklin was wise because he used his intelligence to make good choices and do clever things. You will remember that Franklin was a part of the Continental Congress, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and a representative of our country in both Great Britain and France. He was all over the place. Long before his days in government, Benjamin Franklin was a successful businessman in Philadelphia. He had always been a good reader and writer, and as a boy, he had been an apprentice in his brother's printing shop in Boston. An apprentice is someone who is learning how to do a job from someone who is an expert at that job. So, when he moved to Philadelphia, Franklin set up his own printing shop and started his own newspaper, eventually becoming the busiest printer in the American colony. For more than 25 years, Benjamin Franklin published a series of books called Poor Richard's Almanac. Benjamin Franklin spelled his almanac the old-fashioned way, with a CK. Today most people spell almanac with just a C. His almanac was often the only book that people bought. It contained lots of practical information that they wanted to know. For example, the almanac had a calendar with the times of the sunrise and sunset. Today, we listen to weather forecasts on the radio or television. But back then, people looked in their almanacs to find out what the weather would be like. The almanac had stories and poems, as well as puzzles, jokes, and lots of advice. Franklin included many wise sayings, many of which we still use today. Have you ever heard anyone say, Never leave until tomorrow what you can do today? What do you think that means? Franklin must have lived by his own words because he got so much done. He was never still for a minute. His brain was working constantly, spilling over with questions and ideas. Benjamin Franklin had a keen interest in science and the way things work. As a young boy in Boston, Benjamin spent much of his time swimming in the harbor. What else have you learned about that happened in Boston Harbor? He was pretty good but he wanted to be even better and faster. One day, he thought of a way that he could be a faster swimmer. He found some wood and carved some wooden paddles to fit over his hands and feet, kind of like the flippers that divers use today. When he swam with those, he was much faster, probably faster than all the other children his age. As Benjamin Franklin grew older, he continued to invent new things. Anytime he saw a problem, he tried to invent a way to fix it. He had two pairs of glasses, one for reading and one to help him see things far away. He didn't like having to switch glasses all day long, so he asked a glass cutter to slice all of his lenses in half. He made one new pair of glasses, with the distance lenses on top and the close-up lenses on the bottom. Franklin had just invented bifocal glasses, still worn by many people today. While sitting by the fire one night, Benjamin Franklin watched warm air disappearing up the chimney and wondered how he could trap more warm air inside the house. He made a wood-burning stove out of iron. Franklin's stove was similar to this iron stove in the image. It put out twice as much heat as a regular fireplace and burned less wood. This stove was named the Franklin stove after its inventor. Lightning was another thing that fascinated Benjamin Franklin. He had watched houses and barns burn to the ground when struck by lightning. Could it be, he wondered, that lightning was electricity? He was going to find out. A legend about Franklin's experiment with a kite during a lightning storm goes like this. Do you remember what a legend is? One day, Franklin took his son William out in the middle of a thunderstorm, with lightning raging all around them. He tied a little metal key near the end of the string of the kite. Do you see the key in Franklin's hand and the string that extends from it? 
The kite is at the other end of the string, just outside of the picture. This was a very dangerous thing for Ben Franklin to do, and he was extremely lucky not to have gotten hurt during this experiment. Franklin was pretty sure that if lightning was electricity, flying the kite in the thunderstorm would cause the key to become charged with electricity. He kept touching the key as the kite flew above their heads. As fibers on the kite string stood on end, Franklin felt a little shock. He was right! Lightning was electricity! Franklin used his discovery to invent the lightning rod, a pole that helps carry electricity away from buildings and into the ground. His invention, or creation, is used today to prevent fires caused by lightning strikes. Benjamin Franklin's list of inventions goes on and on. The next time you rock back and forth in a rocking chair, thank Franklin for helping you to relax. This clever man invented a rocking chair with a fan to help people keep cool while they rock. In 1790, just three years after the Constitution was written for our country, Benjamin Franklin died peacefully in his sleep at the age of 84. 20,000 people attended his funeral, at the time the biggest funeral ever held in Philadelphia. Bells rang and flags flew at half-mast as signs of respect for one of America's greatest heroes. If you look at the picture, you will see a flag flying at half-mast, or halfway up the flagpole. I'm going to ask you a few questions. If Benjamin Franklin did these things, then say, yes. If he did not do these things, say, no. Did Benjamin Franklin sign the Declaration of Independence? Did Benjamin Franklin invent swimming fins? Did Benjamin Franklin publish Poor Richard's Almanac? Was Benjamin Franklin President of the United States? What did Benjamin Franklin do at his brother's print shop? Name one thing that Benjamin Franklin wrote. If you were an apprentice learning how to do something, with whom would you want to apprentice? What are some of the things that Benjamin Franklin invented? In the read aloud you heard, Benjamin Franklin's almanac was often the only book people bought. Say the word almanac with me. Almanac. An almanac is a yearly publication that includes a calendar and other helpful information. My mother always checks the almanac to see if winter will last long this year. As you learned in the read aloud, people used almanacs to find out important and practical information, like times for sunrise and sunset, what the weather would be like, and why sayings. Think about whether you would use an almanac today. Try to use the word almanac when you tell about it. What's the word we've been talking about? 